We're gonna get set up for the light line stuff. You're gonna need some material to make a tab. I prefer the clothesline here. You wanna make probably a six to eight inch tab. And you want a good solid knot in the end and you're just going to take it and loop it through the same ring that the leash goes on. You're going to fold it over like that. It's going to get the dog used to wearing it. So what I like to use for the light line, it's an eighth of an inch. It's pretty thin. There's 40 feet here. That's more than enough for me. I think the one I'm using is down to like 20 feet. So you're going to tie another, uh, I think it's an overhand knot in the end with a little loop right there. And then about 18 inches down, you're gonna tie another knot. All right, so you just fold it at the 18 inches and tie a knot so that you have a loop. And then when we go out to work the dog, what I'll usually do is stick this through the end of the tab, like so and it'll make a little loop on the light line and stick it through the loop that I have. If I put that loop over my knot, it's nice and secure, but it's not tied. And I'll give you the formula for it, but we're gonna start off healing on the leash and then we're gonna come to an auto sit and we're going to just calmly unhook the leash from the chain collar and we're going to hook it to that leash, that link on our tab to the light line. And we're going to heal another predetermined set of steps. And then eventually the next step will be we will still hold the leash and we will heal the predetermined steps not attached to the dog, the dog is just dragging the light line. And then we go back to the collar. To the light line. To nothing. To the collar. To the light line. To nothing. Now when the leash is attached to the light line, we're not making corrective turns in such a way that the collar is activated. You'll see that when we go out and film this next part.